Hello, this is Rain Wu, and welcome to another episode of Wine Down Wednesday. I thought this week we go back to a wine recommendation. So I have here a bottle of wine that was given to me by one of my clients, and I had a chance to um, have it recently. Um, this is a wine from Greece, from the city of Drama in the Drama wine region. And this is a beautiful photo of the chateau there uh, at the Domain Casta Lazariti. And just to give you some context, this is the Drama wine region, and the Domain uh, Casta Lazariti is right here amongst many other uh, vineyards in the Drama wine region. So as you all know, Greece has had a long history of winemaking all the way back to the goddess of Dionysus, who, um, according to myth, had introduced to the local lords the secrets of making wine. And that was around 400 BC. So definitely a long history of winemaking in the country of Greece. This bottle in particular is a 2021. It's a Emistos Blanc or a Semillon Blanc, which is the primary grape. And it's a mixed with a Astrotico grape that's from the island of Santorini in Greece. I really like this bottle of wine that I had recently because I think the Sauvignon Blanc has a nice finesse um, to it. And then the Astrotiki is a very bold and intense grape. So they did a really good job of blending the wine where on the nose it's very fruity and it's very citrusy. And, but it's got a nice balance and structure um, on the palate. So in terms of pairing, I definitely recommend it. Um, as you can imagine, with some buttery seafood, I had some clams and shrimps with that and some olives. So anything that you can think of that you would typically eat in the Mediterranean, I think would pair well with this Sauvignon Blanc from Greece. And also I found it that it paired really well with some spicy food as well. So that's my wine recommendation for this week. What I wanted to do was shift back into real estate and talk about some drama that I've seen in the market as the real estate market has shifted. I think this drama that I'm talking about is between sellers who are still wanting a certain price for the listings that they're trying to sell and then buyers that are now uh, facing less competition as they're making offers and there's a gap between what the seller wants to sell it at and what the buyers are willing to pay for real estate. I think the moral of the story in all of this is that it's very important regardless of which side you're on that the listing is priced properly. So if you have property that you would like to get a free consultation on trying to sell your property, um, give me a call. I'd be more than happy to go over some comps with you and come up with some good pricing strategies. On the other hand, if you're a buyer that's looking, I would love to work with you on trying to find that dream home for you, especially if you're relocating here in Northern Virginia or if you're a military personnel that's PCSing here to a base in Northern Virginia. Because what I have found, just as an example recently, I've had a listing that was actually on the market. We've had open houses for it. We've had to do price cuts. And I think this listing was priced a little too high. And as a result, it has not sold. We have had offers on the property, but it wasn't quite what the seller was looking for. So over time, as mortgage rates have gone up and now it's gone down a little bit, we've had to do price cuts on this listing and we've had to do another price cut and so forth. And now we're into the end of summer as the buying activity has slowed down even more. Compare that to another listing where the listing was priced really well. I think the seller was looking for a little bit more on the list price. And we came up with a strategy to price it I thought was more appropriate for the market. The good news in this story was that it was priced lower than what the seller had wanted. However, we got it sold after the first weekend. We got a ratified contract. It was a multiple contract situation. 
As a result, there were multiple offers and the property was ratified at a significantly higher price than the list price. And at the end of the day, the seller actually got more than the seller was anticipating when we were talking about the list price for this property. So I think it's a good lesson learned as we look at some of this drama that's happening between sellers and buyers is to list the property appropriately because I think in this market, it's gonna be crucial if you want to get your um, listing sold. And for buyers, I think it's a great time to look. So if you're looking to buy or sell, definitely give me a call. Again, uh, my number is 703-216-2692. And this is another episode of Wind Down Wednesday and have a great week. Thank you very much.